Hey everyone, it's TTL back with another video for you. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the ROG Strix X 470F Gaming because we are finally allowed to talk about Ryzen 2. And I do have two Ryzen 2s here. I have the uh, 2600X, which is a six core 12 thread one. And I have the 2700X, which is the eight core 16 thread one. You can go and have a look at these on the main OC3D channel. And we will be doing a full review of the processors and this board on the main OC3D TV channel for the 19th, which is when the NDA lifts. If you do like these quick views, by the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, but without it falling off, I'm going to give you a quick look around the board itself. Now we do have an eight plus two uh, VRM setup at the top. So you get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, then those two there for the CPU itself. Then you get two for the SOC, which is a silicon on chip. And that's to do with like the uh, memory and stuff like that on the CPU as well. But they do get separate phases for them. This does light up here. It is the only lighting on the board as well. So this is kind of like one of those little addressable ones that can kind of dance and stuff. But it is just that little strip there. You can see the dark gray heat sinks for the VRMs at the top, quite meaty, quite a bit of airflow gonna be able to go on. One of the things I will say is around the back, I did feel that this was a little bit light, but I'm not allowed to review these boards, so I, I we're just gonna skim around. Now, one thing I will say about the Strix board is you do get the um, uh, display port here and the HDMI, which means you can utilize it with the lower end um, uh, APUs with the graphics. So you have got that option where you can use onboard graphics with these boards, but the uh, 2600X and the 2700X that I've just showed you, if you notice on the box, it does say discrete graphics card needed. That's because there is no onboard video on those at all. Now there is uh, an M.2 here with a big aluminium heatsink on the top. And then there's another one down the bottom without the heatsink and that's just bare. There's no heatsink available for that. Something that I did kind of like was the fact that you can see the large Republic of Gamers um, logo there. And then this is a hologram. I did get excited thinking there was gonna be lights underneath here or underneath there reflecting over the top. Sadly, they didn't do it. So this is literally just kind of, you know, to give you something to look at down the bottom, which, you know, it's, it's kind of cool, but I was a bit disappointed. This is like a tag that you would get on your shoes or your clothes as well. It's actually fabric. It's the first time I've seen that on a board, but that does look kind of cool. Then around the board itself, no onboard power switches or anything like that. You do get your um, uh, two CPU headers up here for your fan. So you've got CPU fan, CPU optional. Then you've got uh, a fan header there coming down and around. I didn't see any fan header around here. Nope. But you do get a USB 3.1 um, external there. Then around the bottom, you've got two more fan headers here. You do have uh, an addressable RGB header. The addressable RGB is the three pin one. Normal RGB is the four pin one. Then you do get two internal USB twos. Whoop, whoop. Finally got a pair of them. Um, you can see your main uh, PCR Express connectors here. These are the ones that go onto the CPU. These are the ones that your graphics cards go into. Supreme FX audio down the side. You can see the Japanese capacitors, a little gold you know, audio grade ones going on there. There is a bit of shielding above the um, uh, the actual audio itself. Now I'm just looking so that we can see if it mentions the actual one that's on there. And it's not, yeah, it just says eight channel audio. It doesn't actually tell, but on the main review, I'll make sure it gets covered in the video and on the uh, website itself. So that was our quick look. So that is your new updated look at the new X470 Strix board for the new Ryzen 2 chips. We can talk about lots more that's going on when I'm not under NDA on the main OC3D channel from the 19th. I am certainly hoping that I'm gonna have a full review live done on this for the 19th. But if you head over to the OC3D channel now, we do have the Crosshair 7 X470 board. Uh, there's a preview of that live, the CPUs themselves, and some of the boards from the other brands as well. So if you fancy a look, if you are really into your tech, head over there and see even more motherboard videos.